Hey guys, I hope all is well. So, oh my goodness, I can't believe it's already been three weeks since Edison's been born. Um, it feels like it's gone by really fast in a lifetime all at the same time. Um, it's crazy how time is being perceived at this moment. By the way, if you hear any noise in the background, that is dear son back there. He is in his bass nest. Uh, resting. I have to say that today has been one of the better resting days that he's had since Steven has gone back to work. But anyway, uh, I wanted to come on here and do a postpartum update for you guys, mainly because a lot of you guys have been asking how is me and baby and just family in general doing with the huge change in our new lives and whatnot. And also I know the postpartum period can be a really difficult period for a lot of mothers. I am prone to postpartum depression because I do have general depression and anxiety. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to update you guys on how things have been going for me as well as things have been going for our new family. Family. So let's talk about me for a minute just because I think you know a lot of people are more interested on the changes that have happened uh, to me and might happen to other people as well after they give birth. Um, so like I said I'm three weeks out three weeks and three days today and um, it's nothing like I thought I would be. Um, like I said, my background is in epidemiology. I studied biology and I definitely had a focus on women when I was studying epidemiology and I did dabble a little bit into birth and so I felt like I'd be well prepared but was not at all. It's nothing like the books. Um, when they say your nipples will hurt, um, yeah, they hurt like all the time. My breasts hurt all the time. They're leaking all the time and psychologically, I think that has really gotten to me. Um, I'm not postpartum depressive, but it's definitely bringing me down, you know, waking up to like rock solid boobs that are like three sizes larger than what I'm supposed to be. Having them drain everywhere, like having them just soak up all my bras and whatnot and soak through all the pads and everything like I cannot keep milk in and it is frustrating um, to say the least and it definitely does bring my mood down I don't know why it brings my mood down but it definitely brings my mood down that I just can't control that aspect of my body and I'm guessing it's just um, a form of control that I'm not happy that I don't have anymore over my body um, also feeling like you know a restaurant <laughs> whenever this guy cries my body produces milk and I'm just like I have to feed him I have to feed him I have to feed him and of course I don't feel bad about feeding my child but it's definitely a different season of life you know I have always been super independent on my own even as a married woman you know um, I have always been on my time and now I'm no longer on my time I'm on my child's time and so that has been a really weird transition for me and and it's not a transition that I regret having. I absolutely love my son. It's just been a different transition for me and not something I was fully prepared for. And I think it's a little bit different, you know. I think for some women it's not as bad because having a child has been their main driving focus all of their life and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. I have, I have applaud women who are like that because they know exactly what they want and when they get this they know exactly what they're getting into. Uh, for me, this was a surprise pregnancy for both both of us and um, you know I've been told that I wasn't capable of having children but I also never really wanted children so to be having a child now and being on their time um, I don't regret it at all it's just a little bit weird so I brought him over here he wants to feed but he literally just ate and that's one of the things I've been thinking about is like do I continue to feed him or not because I know that he, he's eating over like five ounces per feeding at this time and he's three weeks old and so it's just like should he continue to eat or should I be like don't eat um, but anyway I don't think you guys can see him right now but here's Mr. Edison say hello say hi say hi no highs he's not gonna say hi you guys <laughs> but that's okay but yeah, for me, it's just been a little bit different and a little bit of an adjustment to be on someone else's time and not on my own time. And like I said, it's not 
bad per se and I definitely don't regret it. I absolutely love my son and I wouldn't change for the world. It's just a harder adjustment for me I think than it would be for someone who was expecting this and someone who wanted nothing else but this. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you're someone who's always wanted a child, has always been trying for a child, and then were blessed with the miracle of having a child, let me know if the adjustment was just as hard for you of not being independent or if you felt it was easy. Because I feel like that's a really interesting conversation to have. Um, and I definitely don't want to speak for people who are in a different situation for me. So let me know down in the comments below um, how the adjustment has been for you. Waking up in the middle of the night night feedings have been absolutely atrocious for us at nighttime um not anymore though but definitely in the beginning um when we brought him home the first night was absolutely terrible he did not sleep at all um and I felt really bad because I could tell that he was really tired but Stephen and I didn't know what to do you know to make him feel more comfortable and whatnot um thank god my mother was here with us for his entire first week of life um she definitely made sleep on his part and sleep on our part so much easier um but after she went again we started having trouble um and not necessarily trouble feeding him he's a pretty good feeder um but like just adjusting to having to wake up three times a night getting the whole routine down and things like that and i do have to say i am absolutely blessed to have a husband who is so willing and down just to help out you know he couldn't feed um until last week when i started pumping um but he was always there to burp him and change him and whatnot and now he'll feed him and change him and burp him as I pump so I can get another supply out for him um just because we're trying to just bottle feed him exclusively at night and then breastfeed him exclusively during the day unless we're out uh, and about but even then I'll try to breastfeed before um, I give him the bottle during the daytime um but that was really hard for us and again I that just deals with adjustment I feel like a lot of my postpartum issues just deal with bless you bless you deal with being you know adjusting to being responsible for another human being who literally can't really do much for themselves and um yeah it's just been really really strange you know to be honest it's been really strange um Maybe some people will give me flack for that and say I should be enjoying it and everything and it's not strange um, But that's just how I feel about it. You know, I feel like it's a strange thing um, It doesn't mean I don't love my son any less um, But it's strange for me <laughs> He is so fascinated by the camera right now you guys he's just like staring at it like Yeah Yeah You have something to say? You have something to say to the vlog? I think he sees it so often that he's just like, what's mommy talking to? I think it's one of the awesome things though, you know, despite how hard everything has been, it's been so awesome to see him like just develop, you know, mentally and physically. Physically, postpartum has been a little bit challenging as well. Um, as far as the weight goes, um, that has not really been a problem for me. I am breastfeeding and breastfeeding takes a ton of energy so I my tummy was back to its regular size in about three days after I gave birth so three weeks out I'm currently 160 pounds I started off at 155 no 157.7 pounds and so I'm pretty close to my starting pre-pregnancy weight as well it's been challenging for me physically is uh again feeding has been challenging he's a very good latcher but when it comes to like delatching he kind of pulls off and so I know what to do you know to make sure that he has a good latch I don't allow him to actually latch on unless he has a big mouth and unless he's like really ready and not gonna be playing around that way like it helps save my nipples but like he likes to pull off and so what I do now is I try to cut off his feeding a little bit early when I see that he's getting ready to get done so I'll just pop him off so he's not um, pulling on my nipples um 
and so that has helped a lot but between his feeding and his pumping my nipples are experiencing some strain and whatnot and so i'm alternating between pumping feeding and hand expressing um and that way i can help save my nipples a little bit also there is the whole healing of the vagina bit yes down there is still sore uh, and that gave me a little bit of anxiety too because when i was reading online they were saying fit healthy women uh, and I read a lot of sources online, which if you have anxiety, it doesn't matter how well educated you are. Don't read online sources, you know, just by yourself. Read them with your midwife or your OBGYN or family doctor. Just don't do it on your own because I'm highly educated and I was sending myself into absolute terrors about my body. But I was reading online that, you know, coming on to 10, 11 days, your lochia should start to be yellowing. You really shouldn't be experiencing much pain or anything like that, even if you had stitches. And I had two sutures. Um, one was purely cosmetic. The other one was um, fixing a tear in uh, the vagina. And my Lucia was still kind of red. I wasn't bleeding like heavily or anything like that and I didn't have any clots, um, but it was still red. It wasn't turning yellow at that point. And I was still in quite a bit of pain from those stitches. And so when I went for my two week postpartum update, I'm like, I think I have an infection. I think my stitches tore, like all these crazy things is running through my mind. And when my wife checked me out, she's like, you're perfectly fine. Nothing is wrong with you. All of this is normal. Um, it's just averages that they put out online, but even then those are like towards the lower end. And so it makes people feel pretty crappy about themselves um, when there's really nothing to worry about. Um, and so after seeing her, a lot of my anxiety around my physical health has gone down. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it that I wanted to cover for what's been going on with me physically and what's been going on with me mentally. Um, I haven't noticed that drop off in estrogen that happens with a lot of women where your hair starts to fall out and your nails start to get really brittle and whatnot. Um, have not noticed that yet. That may be because I am taking my prenatal still quite frequently. Um, I think I'm going to just switch over to the prenatal brand that I have versus what I was using for a multivitamin before. Yeah, honey. Yeah, honey. Um, just because this has a little bit more nutrition in it and I think it's going to be better for him breastfeeding wise. But anyway, that is my first postpartum update. I think I will do, let's see, since this is three weeks, which is pretty much close to a month, I'll probably do a six week update, a nine week update, and a 12 week update for postpartum. And then after that, cause 12 weeks should be putting me at about three months. And so after that, I'll probably do a six months and then a year celebration maybe. Let's see if we'll go that far out. Um, but that's probably gonna be my schedule for postpartum updates. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you guys had any questions about what this experience has been like for me, especially if you are gearing up to be a new mother or if you're trying to conceive and you kind of want an honest review on what my experience has been, every woman's experience is different. So I found it really helpful reaching out to other women who have had babies or who were pregnant during my pregnancy. So if you're in that situation, feel free to reach out to me. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.